interview, I interviewed one of my favorite blue tongue breeders, TC Houston. He used to be a zookeeper and now he's breeding blue tongues for pets. Hey, thank you very much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it. Hey, that's great, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah it's, it's great to mix it up and everything, but I'm going to go ahead and leave you two alone unless I decide to randomly pop in and ruin things. <laughs> and uh, I'll good. let Aiden take it from here. What future goals do you have? So I'd love YouTube to be able to pay for my reptiles yeah. so that I can have a little more freedom in what I breed and how much I breed and when I breed. Mm -hmm. in order to maintain everything that I have. Well, that's still a good goal. I mean, I, I get the idea of wanting to do that. Like here, Garrett made a Patreon um, so he can pay me to work because I'm not cleaning snake cages anymore. I'm doing a whole bunch of content. So I'm just creating a whole bunch of content. So That's awesome. Yeah. Content. Oh, that would, I would love to have enough subscribers in Patreon to be able to pay an editor to do the editing because it's yeah. like pulling my hair out to do editing yeah oh. yeah i know if i sit here and edit for too long it gives me a headache like i can't i cannot edit for like eight hours straight that's what i'm starting to figure out from this <laughs> what do you want viewers to gain from your content what i want to get out is the the reason so someone will say mm -hmm. the basking spot needs to be this and the cool side needs to be this but why I need to, I want to give them all of the stuff underneath. Why does the animal need that hot spot? Well, because they come from this region and why mm -hmm. is that important? Well, this is their behavior during the day. And then why is it important to provide uh, a gradient? Because they don't sit in the sun all day long. They move back and forth because it's part yeah. of their metabolism. And like, so they know all of that info, then they can understand why we've said that temperature. And yeah okay so given background information on why we take care of the animals those the way, way the, the way yeah. we do the vast majority of people just want a pet and yeah. they don't want to have to spend six years figuring out how to keep it so i want to try and help them get there quickly with the videos yeah yeah that your videos definitely do that right before i got my blue song i did a, i used your videos a lot for research i learned a lot from your videos and other youtubers videos a lot of people are visual too like yeah they want to see it happen like mm -hmm. I, when i need to build something i'm gonna try and youtube it to see how they're doing yeah. it because my mind works visually what is your favorite reptile Woo. my <laughs> favorite reptile is not what you probably think my favorite reptile is a midget faded rattlesnake Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, cool. What about like a favorite lizard? Favorite lizard. Um, it's a Gila monster. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I love so those too. Very close second, blue tongue lizard. Blue yeah. tongue skate. So there do you, you have go. a do you have a favorite um blue tongue morph? Um I like the melanistic or the hyper, the jet black ones. Yeah, um, oh my gosh. Now, I also really those like my the favorites. white northern. The white northern is like pretty sexy as well mm -hmm. yeah definitely um do you have a favorite breeding pro project uh yeah um right now it's the it's the victorian easterns yeah uh, they're green phase so they're they're like green <laughs> at least in my eyes they green look, lizard yeah green. i got babies this year and they have a little green tinge to them <laughs> so hopefully these little green beans will turn into something and yeah. we'll get them going. It's going to be nice so. to see them um, grow. Yeah. 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 So I can't wait. So you used to be a zookeeper, correct? I was. Yes, yeah. I was. Um, Cooper, what Cooper. animals What animals did you work with? Well, I interned with elephants and rhinos and then did a small rotation with the carnivores, which was super fun. I was gonna do pachyderms because I was trying to like broaden my horizons because I'd had so much reptile stuff mm -hmm. but then I got a I got a position as a reptile keeper and so I had the king cobras and um crocodilians I was the guy in charge of the chameleons we had a few Parsons chameleons and then we had one chameleon on display and then there was a smuggled confiscation that landed in and got ended up at our zoo yeah so one morning i come in and the next thing i'm i'm assigned like 50 baby chameleons 
Oh, that's <laughs> like, so funny. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's do this. And, yeah. yeah, working at a zoo would, yeah, that's that would be really fun. It, really. it is amazing. Well, what experiences did you gain from there? Oh, I learned so much about, one, managing your time with a large collection, and then also just individualizing animal care. What I learned is that there was, we had different individual animals that were the same species and they each had very unique requirements. And yeah. so we would tailor our care to the specific animal. And it was amazing to see how much more uh, behavior and, and health and, and thriving would come from a more tailored environment for those particular mm -hmm individuals and so that was really fascinating to yeah to grasp okay well i can send you pictures of maverick now on cool. my blue tongue and you can try and guess what he is i was yeah. told he was a northern but i don't think he's a northern he looks like a morocco mixed with a northern and he is really big too but he's honker. probably yeah he's probably like a good at least 24 inches so this part here uh -huh. that's morocco those the port orange. holes right there yeah that's not morocco that's northern okay or eastern and the likelihood of him breeding with an eastern is low so okay not him but his mom or dad being an yeah. eastern is super low so he's probably a northern morocco yeah that's what i thought too yep that Beautiful, gives me though. thank you that gives me more clarification of what he is See how they just look a lot, a lot different. Yeah. The the yeah. back is so much more brown, and the belly is white. And then the yeah. port holes is really a giveaway, as you can see. And then there's a change in the tail from mm -hmm. the body pattern to the tail. Can you see that kind of? Yeah. So it's like very different. Mm -hmm. But there his he is. front arms don't have any uh, pattern yeah. on it either. Yep. They're also blank. Yeah. And that's another part of it. Now, there are some northerns that will have a little bit of um, marking on them, but not very many. Uh, it's pretty rare. Okay, I have Hello. one question for you and one <laughs> yes, question sir. only. Your opinion, <laughs> dollars aside, we all know Australian stuff is like more highly desirable because it's right. from Australia and you just can't get it, right? Right. Um, and the New Guinea stuff can be imported or whatever. But if you could have only one type of blue tongue, you know what I mean? No, no value, doesn't matter, one thing only. What is like hands down the best blue tongue in your opinion? For me personally, yeah. it would be the Centralian from Australia. But the that's which one? Because Centralian. The Centralian. Oh, the Centra yeah, that is pretty crazy. The little stripy red one, or orangey and red one. But if, as a pet, hmm. I'd still say probably, I'd say a blotched blue tongue from Australia, as far as care yeah, goes. I mean, the blotches. I like animal, the New Guinea too. stuff. That humidity, man. Yeah. That humidity is so hard for people. I'm a, it's I'm so a hard. pine skink guy that, myself. That was, you got to um, go with yeah, the, this, oh, the this, Humidity the, was the, an issue the, I had when I first the, got my blue tongue. Yeah, shinglebacks. So. Oh, they're awesome. I should have, I forgot about those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are the best. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I want yeah. all of them. I know. I like New Guinea. New Guineas are cool. I don't like humidity. I live in Colorado, man. I like to suck it out, you know? Yeah, but, humidity was, a, was the struggle I had when I first got my blue tongue. So. Yeah. Little farts, they shed in a thousand pieces. <laughs> yeah. Not like snakes. Oh. And you got clean up all but, anyway, but yeah, the, the Centralian, I like the fast tongue flick, too. Because they get, like, way into it, like, you know, blah, 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 super fast. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> when they're stressed that's so. crazy yeah well thank you so much for coming on to the sh on the show today we really appreciate it yeah so. thank you yeah man that's great yeah man. i told aiden to tell you I, I was glad of what you're doing with the retics and moving stuff into a more manageable package i think that's the right thing to do for a hobby so good for you i can't hear anything you say <laughs> not <Okay. to. laughs> i'll tell him for you i'll tell awesome, him dude <laughs> Garrett's doing a lot of great things for the industry too, but he's such a weirdo sometimes, isn't he? If you want to see more videos of Garrett being weird, check out this video.